Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Today, I am taking another look at the Bose client for Minecraft 1.20. I have previously made a review on the Bose client, but since then the client has been updated and now supports newer versions, and the client offers more features to its users. I am going to be giving away a Bose client license key to someone watching this video, so make sure to watch the whole video for a chance to win. Before we get into the video, I'd like to quickly shout out the legends that are my YouTube members. If you would like to get your skin and name in my next video, be sure to join now for as little as $0.6 a month. For anyone that has not heard of Bose, it is a popular client that was created by the owners of the semi-popular Conus client. Bose was made to support the latest versions of Minecraft, currently this is Minecraft version 1.20. The client offers more than 160 different modules with around 58 different commands and more than 20 different shader and render options. According to Bose, its strengths lie in combat, utility and render modules. Additionally, it claims to be well suited for anarchy, SMP and minigame servers. To verify these claims, we are going to put Bose to the test. As I previously mentioned, the client is not free, a Bose client license will set you back 18 US dollars. This includes somewhat regular updates and lifetime access. They also offer Bose Beta, which gives you some benefits, including early access to the latest features for a one-time payment of 65 US dollars, which is quite a lot in my opinion. Since my last review, Bose has apparently added a lot of features, fixed a few things and overall improved the client, so let's take a look at some of these changes. To start, let's take a look at a few of the newly added modules. Beacon Selector. This module lets you select beacon effects and applies them automatically. The module does not seem to be functioning correctly, but I'm sure that they'll fix that soon. Motion Blur. This module adds motion blur to your render. I'm not really sure why anyone would want this, using it makes me feel sick, which I guess means that the module works well. Crosshair. This module lets you customize the crosshair. It works well, but I wish it was more customizable. You can only create very simple crosshairs with this module. Anti-chunk ban. This module, as I'm sure is quite obvious, attempts to prevent you from getting chunk banned. Bow spam. This module makes spamming arrows with a bow much easier. The module lacks a few settings though. It would be nice to have a mode option where the arrows are only released when you are looking at another player. Pause Baritone. This module lets you set a keybind to pause baritone, which can be very useful to people that use baritone a lot. Auto Bridge. This module automatically speed bridges for you. The module automatically sneaks and places blocks for you, and this is one of the few modules added in the new Legit tab. Auto Hop. This module is also from the new Legit tab, and it basically just holds down the jump key for you. Hotbar Totem. This is yet another module from the new Legit tab, and it acts as sort of a more vanilla auto totem. The module will automatically switch to a slot in your hotbar containing a totem when you hit a specified health. The devs have also been working on a new config system that is cloud-based. So now, when you use Bose from a different computer, your configs and settings will automatically be synced from wherever you last used the client. I really like this new system, and while I have seen it in other clients, I wish more clients would adopt it. The devs also told me that they have been actively working to improve modules, and have fixed many problems and outright improved a lot of modules. And this seems to be true. The client overall functions and feels better than it used to, though there are still a few problems that could be fixed. It is worth noting that I did experience a game crash while using the client, and I did notice that the storage ESP module is not working correctly, but this is a beta version of the client, so bugs are to be expected. And on top of that, the devs told me that they are actively working on fixing these issues. The devs also pushed a lot of updates to the client's click GUI, but before we get into that, As stated in the intro, I am giving away a free Bose client license key valued at 18 US dollars. To enter, join my Discord server and react to this message. The winner will be chosen at random two weeks after this video is released. Liking this video and subscribing are not necessary, but they would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for all of the support and good luck. The default key for opening the client's click GUI is right shift. 
though you can change this in the client settings if needed. Since my last review, a new GUI layout has been added. It is called Compact and it moves all of the modules into a single column separated by icons. While I like that they have added more options to the GUI, I'm not super happy with how this new mode was implemented. I personally think that the column in Compact mode should be thicker. Having a single column is nice, but it looks a bit strange when it's so narrow. This leaves a lot of wasted space on the screen, which could be better utilized. You can manually set the width of the column to be much wider, but I think the compact mode should do this automatically. The devs have also added a new search feature to the client, which I'm a huge fan of. It can be used by pressing enter and typing the name of the module that you are looking for. They have also added a new color picking system, which I do like. It is one of the most advanced color picking systems I have seen or used, and I think it's amazing. With this change, there is now the ability to create and display a gradient on screen, which I have not seen before. This lets you create some really cool and good looking GUI layouts. Overall, I like the new color pickers, gradients, and new search feature. I also like the new GUI mode, but I think it could have been a bit shorter and thicker by default. The devs have also been working on a client API that is going to allow developers to add their own custom features to the client. For people that don't know what that means, it is basically like Meteor Client add-ons but for the Bose client. This could potentially bring new ideas and features to Bose from third-party devs, which I think is really cool. Though I hope the add-ons are kept free, otherwise there may be additional costs for these additional features, making the client quite expensive and potentially less accessible for everyone. I know a few people were unhappy with Bose, I saw a few negative comments on my last video, and while some of the comments had some valid points, I don't think that they were all fair. It appears that the Bose devs are actively working on the client and trying to improve it and they are adding more features. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful and or entertaining. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to support the channel. And don't forget to join my Discord server where you could potentially win a free Bose Clients license. Enough said, it has been your boy Kylab, peace in the Middle East.